The ruling People's Progressive Party, CIVIC, is warning against cuts to the 2013 budget and estimates, describing any such action as reckless and irresponsible. But at the same time, the opposition is maintaining that they are not constrained to amend any aspects of the estimates. The opposition also said that Parliament continues to enjoy the same powers it has last year when it slashed allocations to several agencies, despite the CJ's ruling. The opposition, both the Partnership for National Unity, APNU, and the Alliance for Change, AFC, threatened to cut what they called unnecessary allocations to various ministerial and governmental agencies. Speaking at Freedom House today at the party's headquarters, Tourism Minister Irfan Ali strongly defended the allocations to both NCN and GINA. We view the assertion of cutting the budget of NC NCN as a direct assault on media, as a direct result, uh, assault on starving, illegitimate media entity of resources that is necessary to ensure that freedom of speech, to ensure that the democratic views of people is carried in a fair and open manner. Over the weekend, opposition leader David Granger confirmed that APNU will be cutting the budget for the two agencies. He said while NCN is making some effort to cover opposition events, GINA continues to be biasing their coverage and reporting. As it relates to GPL, the minister Ali said the power company provides an essential service to Guyana. He explained that any cut to GPL will result in an increase in tariff to the consumer. The two, these two interventions are too serious to cut. One is that this investment in GPL is going to negate an almost 28% increase in tariff. Right? And I'm, I'm not talking there about Linden. This is a national. Linden is even greater. So uh, you cannot afford to cut this. It has tremendous other, uh, other uh, economic factors that you have to take into consideration. You have to take the inflationary factor into consideration. You have to take the pass-on effect. And the pass-on effect, if you cut it, most definitely would affect at the highest level, the, the poor working class. But while cautioning of any budget cuts to GPL and Gaisuko, Minister Ali said Cabinet has recognized the need to have these agencies to be run more efficiently and effectively. Tuesday will be the last day for budget debates, after which Parliament will go into committees for consideration of the line-by-line -line items in the estimates. Leroy Adolphus, Capital News.